So my neighbor stops by and says, Joe, soon after you left last April, there were some packages that came for you here, and I've got them right here for you. I'm thinking packages. I said, I don't remember ordering anything. In any way, I asked the post office to forward them to New York, but they didn't. And I've got three packages here to open up. Let's do a quick video and see what I would have had last April. Stay tuned. Hey comic book guys and gals, I'm Joe and welcome to Anachronic Comics. So as I said in the intro, apparently I had some comic books delivered here that I didn't realize were here because I had left before they got to my place in Florida. Now, the first one, and I pre-opened them, the first one is from Midtown Comics. Now, I there were a couple of comics when I was going through them that I'm saying, yeah, I'm missing a few. Uh, so I'm hoping that this probably are the ones that I was missing. So let's take a look. I pre-opened them. So let's see what we got here. Okay, there's an invoice, which we don't care about. And oh, this is actually just one comic book. Okay. From Midtown. So let's see which one this is. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Oh. Yes, I think I was missing this one. It's... Uh, first printing of ENIAC number two. There you go. Yeah, you know, it's funny because I was going through the different comic books. I'm saying I read number one and I had number three and four. I think I think that was it. I don't know if there was a fifth. I can't remember now. So I, you know, went through it and I said, well, where's number two? You know, and I couldn't read number two because I didn't have it. So I picked up a different copy of it and read number two as well. But this, I probably had ordered this back and I didn't realize it and I just thought I had missed it and then went hunting for another number two. So anyway, so now I've got another one. Okay. All right. The next one is from Third Eye Comics in Annapolis, Maryland. All right. So let's see what I ordered from them. It'll sound interesting because I have no clue. Let's see. And this is, oh, okay. They put the between some boards. So there's no pull tabs here, right? I hate to use the, the razor on that. So let me just see if I could pull them out so I don't accidentally injure the comic book. <laughs> something good let's see it's in one comic again <laughs> oh, God. now this is what happens when you're not organized right guess what this is another copy <laughs> of any act number two now i've got three of them i got three of them maybe somebody's gonna buy maybe someone wants to buy one off of me <laughs> oh my god i can't believe it anyway so they were down here all along two copies Two copies. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Whatever. If this is a third copy, I, I mean, if this is a third copy, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me see. Oh, no, this can't be a third copy. This is a guy that I sometimes buy some uh, comics off of in uh, off of Facebook. Normally, they are low-grade ones, but they might be some that I either like or that I might need for a collection or something. So let's see what I got from him. Nice Gemini mailer. Two copies. This is not going to be a third copy. I know that. Please don't let it be a third copy. I gotta. Now he puts it in here in the envelope. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah. All right. The first one was a number one. Nice copy of the Omega Men. Okay. So I get that clear out. I definitely wanted this for my number one short box. It's a nice copy. First star spanning issue. Okay. Omega Men. And the other 
is, I, you may recall that I said I was collecting now uh, Booster Gold and Ted Cord Blue Beetle. Um, I came across this. It was a Secret Origins issue of the Blue Beetle, which actually has the first Blue Beetle and the Ted Cord Blue Beetle. Ted, what was his name? Ted something rather. I can't remember his name offhand. Um, I'll put it below so that so you guys can know what it is. So I'm really anxious to read this. Sounds pretty good, you know. So it may go from one to the other. It may actually be like repeating some of what was in the Charlton comics because the Ted Cord Blue Beetle made his first appearance in Charlton, taking over from Ted. What the heck his last name was? <laughs> there. So this is good. I'm glad I have it. <laughs> I'm glad I bought it months ago, almost a year ago. Uh, but you guys, two copies of ENIAC number two here, and I bought another one in New York because I couldn't find number two. So I got three copies of that. But I also have this, which is very cool. So that's the video. <laughs> if you enjoyed me making a fool of myself, please give it a thumbs up. Be well, and I'll see you soon.